Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be trying two new products that I bought on Sephora. For the people who don't know me, my name is Leonor. I'm a makeup artist, a makeup lover and a makeup enthusiast and here in my channel you can always find videos about makeup. And in today's video I'm going to be trying two new products that I recently bought on Sephora. One of them already know the formula, that it's the Natasha Denona lipstick, because I have one but it's not in the same color. I wanted to try the new color with you in here, so I decided to put it on this video. And the other one is the Dior Backstage Illuminating Face Palette. And I have to tell you that I'm really excited to try this one because I have heard so amazing things about this product and I just want to see if everything that everyone is talking about is really true. So about the Dior face palette, they say that the Dior Backstage uh, is Dior has created a makeup line of Dior's makeup artist essentials inspired by the energy backstage of the runaway shows shades to suit different skin tones in your exclusive versatile and buildable textures the glow face palette is your makeup's artist's secret weapon to add a natural to intense glow to the face and this product contains four ultra luminizing shades they say that she can be applied with fingers or a brush it can be used alone or blended together on the zones of the face to illuminate. The packaging, as you can see, it's all silver. Very luxurious, like Dior. <laughs> so let's now see the product itself. Here we have the palette. It doesn't look very luxurious because it's plastic, I have to tell you that. It's not the first product from the Dior Backstage that I have. I have a palette similar to this one, like it's the same, but it has like bronzers, it has four colors of bronzer, this one is highlighters. Packaging is like a plastic and in here the plastic is silver, it says Dior. It's very beautiful but it's, it doesn't look like very luxurious or anything like that. The colors that we have are these four in here as you can see. We have this one that it's the strobe white. This one it's the strobe gold, this one it's the blush pink and this is the blush bronze. And what I'm going to do is for me to try like the four, I'm going to use this highlighter with this blush and this highlighter with this blush. This one's on this side, this one's on this side so we can see how it looks. I'm a light to medium skin, medium when I'm a dark from the summer. Right now my bronze is going away, so I'm more in the light medium. So that's what I'm going to do, just try to see how it looks, because it's also a way for us to see if these colors that are a little bit more strong can look good in a lighter skin tone. So let's start applying it. I'm going to start with the lighter ones, starting with the blush first. I already apply a little bit of blush. I used this one in here from Rare Beauty, but like with the powder and everything, I try not to put too much. So now let's see how this one looks on the skin. It's a very pinkish blush. It has a lot of glow, looks very beautiful. I think that we can also use it as an highlighter, like uh, more in this part in here, but as a blush, it also looks very good. I'm really liking the color on my skin. I really like to use pinkish tones on my makeup. I hope that you can see there. It's looking like I have a lot of glue on the skin. My cheek is looking beautiful. I'm really liking it. So now let's try the white color that we have in here as an eyeliner. Just going to apply it here a little bit on the tip of the nose as well. I think that it has a lot of pigmentation, it gives a lot of glow to the skin. I'm seeing my tip of my nose looking so glowy. <laughs> so now I'm going to try the other ones. Let me pick the blush first again. Apply to see how it looks on my skin. So I think I picked a little bit too much for me. Maybe I should have started with a little bit less but it doesn't look bad it looks like i'm more bronzed i think that this one will look very beautiful like on these parts in here i don't think that it like looks bad i prefer this blush in here i think that it's 
my kind of color it looks better on me I really think that it would look better on um, darker skin tone than mine let's now apply the other highlighter the gold one. Oh my god so beautiful I love trying new highlighters it's one of those things that I really like to see like the first time that I applied it just see the power of the highlighter look look at me just moving my face and the highlighter glowing everywhere I'm going to pick a little bit to put in here to give a little bit of glow and also on my cupid bow here it's a beautiful color I have to tell you amazing I'm loving like all of the colors I think that this side looks more bronze so if I want to do a more bronze kind of a look this is the ones if I want to do a more romantic kind of a look this one <laughs> but I think that like both of them look beautiful just look this one and now this one I think that both of them look beautiful before I talk a little bit more about the palette let's now apply the lipstick the Natasha Denona this one is from the My Dream lipstick I also have the palette that I've been loving to use it's amazing this color it's the 11 and B Natasha I wanted to try this color for a long while when I bought the other color that I have that it's the Michelle the one that I wanted to try was the Natasha but it was out of stock so I decided to buy the other one and when I was like doing this last um, Sephora shop I saw that the color that came out on this collection was the same so I'm really excited to see if I like this color as well from what I saw this is more of a pink undertone the other one is more neutral beigey kind of tone but I'm really excited to see how this one looks but I went and got the Natasha lip liner so we could try like both of them together I already uh, know this color of the lip liner So I don't know if the color of the lip liner it's the same as the lipstick but we will see I put in here the lip liner they are similar but I think that this one is a little bit lighter let me apply and see what I think it's looking so beautiful I just love so much the color it's so beautiful it's that kind of a pink that I really like to use these lipsticks are cream ones they are not matte and I don't have like a lot of cream ones I have more <laughs> matte ones and I think I don't have a creamy one in this color I have that one and others maybe a red but a creamy one on this color no and it looks so beautiful it's a beautiful color but as I showed you I think that the lip liner is a little bit like darker than this one but it's not that big of a deal I think that it does a beautiful look like if I only had put the um, lip liner uh, doing like the contour of the lip it would look a little bit uh, more dark when we are doing uh, like our lips and we are doing the contour if it's a darker darker shade and in this inside a very light one I really don't like to see I know that a lot of people use that but it's not my kind of preference I prefer to use like a little bit darker but not too much so we don't see that kind of a difference that it's so big the lipstick amazing the formula it's the same amazing I am not really a fan of creamy lipsticks and I really like this one I think that it's a beautiful one so like me that don't really like creamy formulas for lipsticks saying that I like this formula I think that says everything that this lipstick is really a good one <laughs> now before I end the video I just want to talk a little bit more about both of the two products first the palette I think that both of the sides as I told you create different looks and if you want like you can mix this one with I don't know if it would look very good this with this I need to try it but I'm sure that this one with this one will look very beautiful both of the looks that I did they look so beautiful this one more bronze this one more it reminds me of the romantic kind of things and like with the eye that I already have now with the lipstick 
it looks very like to use on a romantic date or something like that I think that it looks very beautiful still with the same eye and the same mouth with this side I would use other colors on the lips I would use more of a neutral beigey lipstick on the eye I would use more of a gold kind of tone blacks, uh, browns, golds and not so much the the pink colors that I have but like just looking at this part in here like it looks beautiful so I think that this palette is really worth it I have to try it more of course try it with other foundations with other powders like other products different from the ones that I use today but I am really liking both of the sides so the four products so the palette <laughs> now talking just a little bit more about the lipstick as well the color is beautiful that's what I wanted to see if I liked it or not and I bring that for you guys to see how the color looks and the color looks amazing I love it the formula as I already told you I already knew it and it's amazing I love it I think that if I want to buy more creamy lipsticks that like are not mad, more cream like these ones. I think I'm going to probably pick Natasha or maybe Charlotte. I want to try the Charlotte ones, the ones that are creamy as well. I've never tried that formula. I only tried the matte version of that. But with this one, I know that I'm covered because this one is very good. The formula is amazing. It has a lot of pigmentation. It looks good on the lips. It's soft on the lips as well. Now that we are in the end of the video, I just want to know what you thought about this one, what you thought about the products, if you have already try them or not so go down there on the comments area and tell me everything and if you like this one and you don't miss any of my other videos here on my youtube channel don't forget to also go down there and click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell so you can get all the notifications when i upload a new video and if you like this one don't forget to also give it a thumbs up i'm also going to leave down there the other social media that i use so you can go there and follow me as well now that we are in the end of the video i just want to thank you so much for being here for watching my video until the end and now i hope to see you on my next one Bye!